What is up guys and welcome back. Had a major scare last night. Smiley Jack there. Looking great, buddy. Looking really good. He uh so, <sighs> Gummy. Gummy. I'm trying to shoot a video. I know. <laughs> She's like, I know, I would like to be in it. So Mr. Jack. I came over here last night to feed the ladies and the gentleman. And uh, we're not doing Rammies. Do you want to do Huggies? Oh, buddy. Here, I won't be able to see myself, but you can do Huggies if you want. Do Huggies. No, 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 no. Just come in for hugs. Yep, just hugs. Good boy. I know you're a good boy. Yeah. You got some burrs in your hair. You got some burrs. Yo, man. You're not old man. You're just a baby. <sighs> He's going to want to rough me up for a minute. But anyway, so I came over last night. And I don't know if... I don't, I don't know what was going on. Uh, I had all their food in my hand. And just don't don't rough me up, buddy, when I'm not looking. Jack was laying right here, flat out, as flat as he could be. His head was up there by that. Um, goats don't lay on their sides, just so you guys know. And he was flat as a pancake, foaming at the mouth. And I threw the food down, picked him up, told H, you know, coming in hot with Jack and Tote. I uh, need some heating pad, towels. So she had everything. She had all the towels set up, the heating pad set up. Uh, molasses water. And a shot of B12. So we took him over. I just scooped him up, basically. Ran him to the house. Put him on the heating blanket. Hi, buddy. I don't know, guys. Um, I think... You sweet little angel. Smiley Jack. He's such a good boy. You got a handsome beard. Look at your handsome beard. But I found him laying here. Scooped him up. Ran to the house. Like I said, H had everything already set up, ready to go. I just texted her, like, you know, coming in hot, carrying Jack. Uh, so she had everything ready to go. What was funny was, while I was here, I had the food in my hand, and I dropped the food right there to pick him up, and he immediately started eating. I rolled him onto his chest, or sternal, and he started eating out of the bowl right away. He's thin. He's very thin. And I didn't know it. And I get over here and I put hands on these guys. But I haven't really... You know, when they look good and they're acting normal. I don't feel down their spines and on their rib cages. And, you know, if they're looking good, they're acting good. I give them an eye check a couple times a week. Just to see where their Fremacha level is. And I leave them alone. And he's thin. He's very thin. And I hope, there's no good way to say that I hope he's just starving. I don't mean it, I don't mean starving. I hope he's just not eating enough. Because this guy is roughing everybody up and keeping them off the food. Because if it's not that, if we can't just feed him up, then it's something else. And if it's something else, I don't know what it is. And it's probably going to be life ending. And I don't want that. But he... He drank water immediately when I got him to the house. He was eating on the way... To, like, not on the way to the house. He was eating here. And when I got him in the house and he started drinking, I grabbed him some food, some alfalfa pellets, and he went to town on them. And he just... He started eating. He started drinking, which is... You know, that's your two right there. 
if they're eating and drinking, you're good. His temp was good. He what he didn't have a high temperature. He didn't have a low temperature. He was right where he needed to be. Everything said he was just hungry. And his he looks so so it's a little challenging. He looks good, but it's winter and he's got fat hair. So you wouldn't be able to see if he's bony and skinny. But man, when I picked him up, I was like, oh boy, you're not even 50 pounds. Well, you're not the king. You're not, you're not the you okay, well, you're cute. But but he was super light when I picked him up, and I was just like, oh wow, he has nothing to him. Skin and bones. Are you guarding the door? What are you doing? You're such a weenie. So he is thin, and he ate, and he ate, and he ate, and I put him, so about 10 p.m. is when I carried him to the house. About midnight, he got up from his towels and his heating pad and started kind of like wandering around the house a little bit, so I knew he was feeling better already, and then at 2 a.m., he got up and came over to me. I was just laying on the couch watching him. And he gave me a little nudge. And I carried him outside. Uh, he used the bathroom both, both places. <laughs> both sides of the spectrum. Oh man, it's getting cold. And brought him back in the house. And he got up again and wandered around and then came back to his towel and peed all over it so the plan was to since the bunny barn is empty and he's close to the house was to just put him in the bunny barn if he got to feeling well if not he was going to stay in the house but it was just to put him in the bunny barn that way it's right there i can run up and check on him so about two that's probably two fifteen by the time we did bathroom runs and i got him up there got him fed got water up there to him there's there's a big uh, hay pile up there that he was just laying in. He didn't even lay down when I took him up. He just started eating hay again. So about four, I checked on him. He was good. He was up. He was alert. Six a.m. I checked on him. Same thing. Eight a.m. I checked on him. Ten a.m. I went up and he was uh, just normal Jack, just standing there staring at me like, "Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Why am I in this barn?" So. <sighs> I hate to say I hope it's just that he's hungry and hasn't been getting enough nutrition. He did go through that bout with worms right before the cold weather snapped. And here, I'll just come back here and you can rub my leg. That way you don't try to kill me. And uh, coming out of the wor worm load like that and then dealing with the harsh weather, trying to generate heat with your body, no matter how much he eats, maybe he wasn't able to generate enough heat and it was burning so much fuel and he was just losing mass. Uh, I keep this. I know you're probably not going to be able to see it. It's dark. This is their hay bin. And I keep that full. It's actually sticking out of the top about a foot. And it's full. So he has plenty of access to plenty of hay. He's doing great. He's a little dumpy looking. I just gave him uh, some red cell. Red cell is kind of helps revitalize the blood a little bit. Uh, restore some red cells. <laughs> red blood cells to the body once they've gone through some warming issues so right now his famacha looks good famacha is an eye test that you do if it's if their eyelid color is uh light instead of dark pink or red ish then their worm load is too heavy but right now his famacha looks really good he's had no issues no nothing other than his total collapse I just think he was just, I think he was starving. And this is always full, guys. But I think this big buffoon right here is bossing the boys around, not letting them eat. So this morning, I separated him out. That's why this food dish is here. I locked him out of the gate. Jack was still in the bunny barn. But I locked big man outside of here so that all three of the small boys well not the small boys latte snickers and mellow could eat without being harassed are you a harasser do you like to harass people 
I know you're a good boy, but you gotta let the boys eat. So yeah, guys, I don't, uh, right now I don't have, I don't have any answers. He's eating great. He looks a little dumpy, but he's up and he's moving about. He's got that little Jack smile on his face, a buddy. And all seems well, so I just don't know. Um, I really do think he's not getting enough food, and I think it's because of fluff. So I just, that's something we're going to have to deal with. I'm going to make sure that he's separated off from the boys. You, I know, so they can eat, buddy. That's it. And then I think maybe, so when I came over here just now, man, my phone is just trying to go blurry because it doesn't want to record in the dark and the light. Um, I started a hay pile over here too. And then they have this one in here so that hopefully with two locations, they'll be able to eat. And guys, I will keep, I've already been over here, what, three times today checking on him. We didn't even bring him back over here until about uh, noon, one o'clock. And I've been over, this is my third time back just to check on him. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep a good solid eye on him. Check him again tonight before I lock him in. Feed him up good. Make sure that everybody gets to eat. Not just you, chunky man. <laughs> can, can I get that big old woolly piece off your face? Give me that. Give me that one there. That's the one I wanted. You getting a good scratch? I'll scratch you, buddy. Just don't smash my hand between the wall. You just don't know your own strength, do you, big guy? But I wanted to keep you guys in the loop, guys. As you know, we do the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, it was ugly. It was real ugly. He was just laying here. I mean, he he was he laid there to die. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, I don't know if it would have been good if I'd come earlier. I might have missed something. Or if I had come later, he would have already been dead. So that's perfect timing. And uh, we got him. Thank you for the gentle nudge. I do appreciate that. I think we have him on the right track. I'll keep a really close eye on him. And uh, we'll go from there. And I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy. What? All right. Do you want to? Do you want to take us out? Look out! See, that's how you do it. That was very nice. Thank you. That was very nice of you. Yep. All right. Say bye to everybody. <laughs>